a place in the all-important A final. Paul Bullivan is on the back of the grid, having won the C final, which you haven't been seeing. He has joined them. There is Paul Bullivan trailing the order at the moment to come into the A final. You've got to first of all win this one, and at the moment, coming away in the lead, it's a battle for the BMW. It looks like Ludwig Hunsbeck going through on the inside to take the lead. Ludwig Hunsbeck, it is in the lead. In the third place there, the Citroen coming through on the inside of Camille Barrican. Jean-Luc Pallier moving up, but there's a big, big traffic jam going up there behind the Citroen. It looks as though we've got a change of order there with Camille Barrican coming through. There is 106, Bengt Ekstrom, the winner uh, in uh, Germany just a week or so ago. Bengt Ekstrom at the moment with a lot to do if he's going to win this one because he's got to win this race and then go into the A final, trying to come through on the inside of Jean-Luc Pallier, but it's Hunsbeck in the lead. Hunsbeck leads it. There goes Paul Bullivant in car number 128, the Neeps of Colchester back to BMW, the British driver, the only British driver in the BMW here this afternoon uh, amongst these gaggle of BMWs we've got in this race. A very interesting mix of machinery there. There goes the Belgian champion for Regan. He's in fourth spot being challenged by Jean-Luc Pallier from France. The Citroen locking his brakes there as he goes into the devil's elbow and uh, smoke pouring from Regan's tyres as he accelerates away up Harry Hill into the North Bend hairpin. But uh, we can still see this battle going on. 1-4-3 there in second spot is Gunnar Kittleson. It's a great to see Gunnar back. I think there's only his second drive in the European Series this year with the new uh, ex Bjorn Voldegaard car. That's an ex Bjorn Voldegaard car there in uh, second spot. And uh, that, in fact, is uh, a car that uh, he's brought into Rallycross. We used to see him here with a uh, ex um, Escort uh, Mark II Turbo, which we. Uh, haven't seen him driving for many, many years, but Gunnar back in uh, the Vengeance, the man from uh, Oslo there, but up front, it is still Ludwig Hansbeck, Bengt Ekstrom trying to do something about this second place, can't do so at the moment, and Ekstrom, I think, is going to be very, very lucky indeed if he makes the A final this weekend. There we see Camille Vereken, as Hansbeck went in front of our camera, down Harry Hill, Vereken leading this battle, with uh, Paul Bullen still at the tail end of the order, Sean Dupagny with the Citroen BX, but there is... 107, Ludwig Hunsbeck coming away in the lead. Ludwig Hunsbeck, car number 107 from the sweet from Norway in the BMW M3. He's had a new engine fitted for this car over the last few meetings and certainly has shown a vast improvement in performance. As we can see, second place nearly taken there by extra.